Okay, so this is what we have rendered out. Since this is a bit better. Yes, yeah, is better. This, this would work. Okay. So I've read I've read taken snippet of it already, snapshot of it already. So I will just need to think I would apply this. I need to apply this same if I apply this if I apply this to the eyebrow already. Uh let me check this. See if I applied it to this eyebrow and eyelashes. I have not applied the material to it, so I'll select this two. In fact, I'll select everything that has to do with the hair. Let me start with this two first. Right click on old. I'll just give it existing material. AI add hair. Okay, I'll select the beard also. I think I'll do a very large render soon. Let's make sure the beard and make all the corrections I need to make. I think the beard should be just fine. Bring in the mustache also in here. I think this should work just fine. I don't think I need to make any corrections there. Okay, that's fine. So for the beard and mustache, I think I'm not giving them a slightly tinted. Do I need to do that? Let's see. Uh, probably not. Let's just give it the same material. Okay, I think I'll change it. Change the material up a bit. Oh, hold on. Okay, let me apply it first. Yeah, standard air. AI weird air. Okay. So I'm not going to reuse this, the other settings which I did. So this one should be 2.9, I believe. If I'm doing that correctly. This one 0 0.75, I believe. Melanin redness. I think around 0. I think I 0 0.8. But we'll check though. So let's just confirm. So let's just come back in here. 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.1, okay. <clears throat> 0 0.1, so let's go back to the beard. So 0. Point, let me try 0 0.12 instead. Okay. Do um, a quick save. Yes, so... Let's go back to XGen and primitive. Okay, preview and output. Our render should be unknown for the mustache. Let me just unknown. Okay. Let's do the same for the eyes cap too. So I think I've done that already for the eyes cap. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Let me hide this head air collection for now. Let's bring out the afro. Let's make the afro visible. Afro. Because I like to render this all at once. Okay. I also need to make some modifications to it. Let's just set this to unknown renderer. Okay. Now the clumping, I need a bit more clumping in there. I need to tighten up the clump, the clump in there before add air. Let's try and tighten up the clump.
maybe even fewer heads fewer heads also let's try 70 I don't want to see more different. Let's try 15. Okay. And I think I'll just leave it as 60. Since 65, better one. Okay. One of the modifiers for the clumping. Let's see what that does. Think I would add a then I'll set that point to zero points. Let's try zero point one eight. Yeah, something like this should be fine. So let us be fine. Let's lump in so let me save this first. Lump in two see what that does. Okay, that one has it. There's a major change in there. So let's put something in here too. Set this to zero point. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Let's find a good angle for this. Okay, make quick save. Save again. Oh, I've not applied material to it yet, so select the description select the description. And let's just use an existing material. Uh, AI uh, uh, Yeah, is this you one? Okay, let me make sure the I has material in the okay, the, okay. the eyelashes and the eyebrow. Okay, they really have, have something in there already. So, we quick save again. Then let's fire up the render for this. This time I won't be using this render region to render the entire outside. Just calculating in here in our scene. Should start doing something now. Okay. Okay, I need to give this a moment to run through. <laughs> this, will take, this will take a while, so I'll come back when this is done. 